South Korea decided to dispatch troops to the Strait of Hormuz. The forces, however, will not join the US-led coalition. South Korea will dispatch troops to the Strait of Hormuz by expanding operational areas of its anti-piracy unit deployed nearby to help protect its vessels passing through the strategic waterway, the defense minister announced Tuesday. In consideration of the current situation in the Middle East, the government has decided to temporarily expand the Cheonghae unit's sphere of activity in order to guarantee safety of our people and the freedom of navigation of vessels, the ministry said in a release. The government's decision is believed to be aimed at protecting South Korea's national interest. First, as the world's most important oil passageway, the strait is the route to the open ocean for 70% of South Korea's oil import. Second, the U.S., its biggest ally, has been requesting South Korea and other allies to send troops to the U.S.-led International Maritime Security Construct, or IMSC. However, as tensions between the U.S. and Iran escalated after the U.S. assassination of top Iranian general, the South Korean government seems to have decided to have its forces conduct independent operations. The 300-strong Chang'e unit, which has been on an anti-piracy mission in the Gulf of Aden off Somalia, will broaden its mission areas into the Gulf of Oman and further to the Persian Gulf starting Tuesday. The 31st batch of the rotational troops, along with the 4,400-ton destroyer, the Wangon, is to assume the role in the day, according to the ministry. While the Chang'e unit will act on its own, South Korea will also send two liaison officers affiliated with the Chang'e unit to the IMSC for cooperation such as information sharing, the ministry said. The IMSC is headquartered in Bahrain. Since May last year, when tensions began to heighten in the Middle East, We've been reviewing diverse options, a senior defense ministry official said, adding that the government prioritizes the safety of the South Korean people and vessels. We had a consultation with the U.S. regarding the matter and explained fully our stance and reasons for the decision to Iran, he added. A recent poll showed more opposition to the dispatch of troops, however, drawing attention to future public opinion trends over Seoul's decision today. Nomyeong government, a predecessor of the current government, also had decided to dispatch troops to Iraq considering national interests, despite public opposition regarding the dispatch. This was Hyun Min Ryu from North Korea Now.